Hi everybody, it's Terry from Doing HR Differently with another car conversation. Today's topic is how to help HR help you. Can you feel it? Can you feel the pressure? Can you feel the stress of that accelerating change? I know I sure do. Wow, I mean businesses have to move, have to adapt quicker to move faster. And I feel it, you feel it, we all feel it. And so when you think about HR, HR is an enabler. HR needs to enable the organization to adapt quicker so they can move faster. And there's so many facets to that. If HR is a practice, which it is, then how it's practiced matters. And you have a choice of how HR is practiced. So another key thing is if you feel like your HR isn't keeping up with all the changes in your business, it's because HR hasn't been kept up. HR needs to be the first to go through any kind of organizational change. They need to be walking hand in hand with the business leaders so that as those changes are determined or as they're experienced, HR is making the adjustments it needs to make. Now in reality, this is hard work and honestly, nobody knows how to do it. The great thing is we get to figure it out together. So let's talk about three ways that you can help HR help you. One is expect more. Again, if HR is an enabler, they should be enabling your business, but they really can't enable your business unless they know your your business. You should be expecting more insight, more involvement, more ideas, um, more value that they bring, and you need to ask for what you want. Ask for what you need. If you get a lot of pushback, and I, I really don't like that word, but if you, if you get a lot of resistance, then you need to engage in the conversation of how can we do this because my business needs this. So that's one, expect more. Two is engage them in your business. The more HR is engaged in your business, the better they can provide solutions to help you. So I don't know how your HR is structured, but if your HR is is not structured to provide uh, support for your client group, you might want to rethink that. Also, make sure they know the challenges that you face because then they can take a look at your workforce and your challenges and put it through the people filter and come up with better ideas that actually address the situation. Also, what metrics are you using? Um, From an HR standpoint, there should be metrics that help you run your business. And then give HR feedback. Again, they need feedback. What's working, what's not working, and more importantly, what do you need moving forward? We should be engaged in an ongoing conversation about how we drive business forward. And then the last piece is um, respecting the work that HR does. HR does a lot of heavy lifting that most employees do not know about. So respecting the work that they do and then protecting their reputation. You know, I I know I've heard people talk about, you know, HR in unflattering ways and it's really been bothersome to me because that is my profession and I know the work that we do for the organization. So as a leader or a colleague, protect the reputation of HR because if the organization doesn't trust HR, you have a major issue whether you're in HR or not. So again, respect the work and um, protect the reputation. So there's a lot in there to unpack, to think about, but those are some ways that you can help HR help you. This is Terry from Doing HR Differently. Hope that was helpful. We'll talk again soon. Bye.